guys, Nick here with GearNut, and this is actually going to be the final review on the Wicked Edge Go knife sharpener. Now, two reasons to buy this. This is how I'm going to classify it. This is from my experience. I have a Wicked Edge Pro Pack 2 with a Wicked Edge 120, and I prefer to use that over the Wicked Edge Go. But the purpose of use of a Wicked Edge Go is going to be, number one, portability. If you're looking for a portable, precise, guided sharpening system, then yes, this is going to be a great thing for you. You know, you're definitely going to want to take a look at it and decide that if it fills your role. The number two reason is this is going to be the entry level into Wicked Edge knife sharpening systems. It's going to be the, the, the cheapest system in their line as of today. And I tell you what, it, it's a great sh knife sharpener. If you're getting into Wicked Edges and you don't know anything else about some of the other ones, this is great. But the number reason why I would say buy it is going to be the portability. I mean, look at this. It's just a little tool roll. It's, it's super compact. It's super portable. It's, com it's compatible with almost all of the other Wicked Edge accessories. And it's actually a great little sharpener. But there's a couple reasons that it's not the perfect sharpener, right? One is going to be you have to clamp it to a table. You know, you can't just set it on a table and sharpen. You actually have to clamp it to a workbench, a table, a picnic table. Actually, the picnic table is a an extremely enjoyable experience. If you if you're at the campground and you're you're bored and you, you're gonna you're gonna sharpen some knives for some fun, this is actually a great little system for that. You know, but look how compact this little beast is. Um, these rods right here sometimes are a pain in the butt to get out, you know, Ugh. but it is what it is, you know, it's a, it's a portable knife sharpener, there's no micro adjustment, so when you are putting your knife in and you're setting it up, like I'm doing right now, here's your little Allen wrench, but when you, when you're putting it together, it's a little bit fiddly, you know, it's not as quick as some of the other knife sharpening systems out there but it's definitely a really cool design come on there you go definitely don't want to strip this there we go uh, here we go there's your little little guide stop they do give you a really cool marker the the stones are 200 and 600 grit you know so they're pretty cool so let's start talking about some of the negatives about this. There's no micro adjustment. So when you do try to set your angle here, you can't just take it and set it at 20 degrees and have a perfect 20 degrees every single time. The reason for that is your blade height. So when your blade height changes, it throws this out of calibration. You only have two places here for blade depth so that's kind of it is what it is you know you, you're getting what you're getting is it going to be close enough for your naked eye yeah you're probably not going to be able to tell you know it's a 17 degree or you know, you're not going to be able to tell it's a it's a 20.57 degree instead of 20 degrees you know you're not going to be able to tell that it's a 20.67 on the other side on the 20 so you're not going to be able to tell, but as soon as you upgrade and you get one of these nice little angle cubes and you, you, you start setting them, you're going to realize that it's the scales off just a little bit because of the blade height and you're going to try to adjust this and it's going to take you a little more time because there's no micro adjustment. Now, I mean, it's not that big of a deal. If you're not an angle snob, then that's not even going to be a factor. You're going to slide this over to 20 degrees, you're going to lock it down, you're going to slide this one over to 20 degrees, you're going to lock it down, and you're probably going to be perfectly happy with those results. But if you're like me and you want exact precision, say you want to do 22.5 degrees on, a, on your, your, your angles, then yeah, you're going to want to get an angle cube and you're going to fiddle and fight with those adjustments 
until you get it set. Other knife sharpeners are going to have detents and micro adjustments and they're going to be better for that roll. So if you're planning on sharpening a whole bunch of knives, the Wicked Edge Go is not my choice for sharpening a bunch of knives. If I'm going to sit down and sharpen five or six knives, I'm not going to use the Wicked Edge Go. I'm going to use my Wicked Edge 120. It's just quicker and easier to use. If you have full flat ground knife blades, like, let me show. If your knife has a full flat grind, like on most spider Spydercos, and it does not have a flat portion right down here for you to clamp, it's going to be a little bit of a nightmare to get it in there. Because as soon as you put it in and you try to sharpen this, and you push on here, it's going to rotate like so. And then from the other side, when you push, it's going to rotate like so. So full flat grind knives are not the best in this sharpener. You can MacGyver it and make it work, shim it. You can try to clamp closer to the, to the tang of the knife or the spine of the knife. And you can make it work, but it's not the best. So that's another little downside. Um, you have to mount this to a table. If you do not mount it to a table, it will try to rotate and slide around on you as you're sharpening. And that creates a major safety hazard. So. The clamp that they give you works on most tables and surfaces, especially if there's an overhang. But if you have a workbench in your garage that has a 2x4 mounted all the way out at the edge, this clamp will not work. So you'll have to figure something else out. Not that big of a deal, you know, but this knife sharpener is a great sharpener. Don't get me wrong, but it's designed around portability. And a lot of people are going to try to get into the Wicked Edge knife sharpener, and this will be the knife sharpener they choose to get. There's nothing wrong with that because most of the accessories that you're going to buy, some of the upgrades you're going to buy, are going to be compatible with other base units. The Wicked Edge 100, the Wicked Edge 120, the Wicked Edge 130, the commercial series. You know, most of your other items you buy are going to be compatible with it. So it's a great place to start if you're on a budget. Is it the perfect system? No. Would I love to see micro adjustment on here? Yes. Can you buy micro adjustment ball joints and put them on here? You can, but they don't work. Trust me, I tried it. Uh, you don't get, you don't get all of this travel. You know, you only get a little bit of travel because the ball joints right up against it. And as soon as you screw your micro adjustments out, you lose all of that adjustment ability, which just defeats the purpose of putting them on. They're taller, so the, there's a whole bunch of material up here, so it makes your stone travel just so much more shorter. It just doesn't work. It's not designed for that. If I could give some advice to the people that designed the Wicked Edge Go, I would tell them to include micro adjustment or a micro adjustment upgrade and to make this vise taller. So have a taller vise that is compatible with this system. And I understand that's going to throw your calibration out, but as long, as long as you use an angle cube with it, you don't need this. You don't have to have any calibration. So I think that that would be a great option if you could include that or have some accessories for this. You know, that would make the usability of it just that much more enjoyable. The reason I want the, the vise to be taller is, let me show you, you lose a lot of stone travel right here. All of this stone travel above the knife blade is not going to be used to sharpen the knife because when you're doing this motion, all of that's not getting used. Therefore, you have to take your stone off every so often and flip it over and put it back on your rod and that way you get consistent even wear on your stones. So, there is that little problem with the Wicked Edge Go. It's not a big problem, but it's definitely something to think about. My Wicked Edge 120 doesn't do that as bad, you know? It's got a shorter distance at the top, but it has micro adjustment. So, this is a great system to start out with. It's not perfect, but if you're on a budget or if you need the portability or compactness of this kit, then yeah, it's definitely a great knife sharpener. I'm not saying that this is the perfect one that's going to end all of your sharpening needs, but it's definitely a great place to start. It gives you very precise tips. You don't... Let me show you. You get very precise tips. You do not round your tips off. 
Um, it's compatible with all the other stones, so you can put a mirror edge on it with this system if you want to. It gives you the ability to sharpen knives. Very, very precise. You're going to have very symmetrical sides. If you have an asymmetrical knife that came from a factory, you can fix it. If you want to reprofile a knife from 25 degrees down to 22 degrees, this knife, this knife sharpening system will work. So it can reprofile, it can fix knife edge, uh, knife edges that are asymmetrical. It is a great precise knife sharpener, especially when you pair it with the angle cube and the 800 and 1000. So if I went back in time and I bought this system and it was the only system I was going to buy, I would be happy with it, but I would recommend buying the angle cube the 800 and a thousand grit and then like you could get away with just having a leather strop it could be just the back of your belt or it could be a piece of leather on a piece of wood with stropping compound i feel that that is more than enough to get me to the level of sharpness i want you don't need the micron you know the 1.6 micron or the 0.6 micron uh, stones if you do get those, yeah, you get a mirror edge, but you don't need a mirror edge. I haven't met a single person that required a mirror edge. So if you require a mirror edge on your blade, comment section below, tell me exactly why you have to have a mirror edge and why just a regular, uh, I don't know, just a regular 1000 grit or 1500 grit or a stropped edge won't work for you. I'd like to hear that. I haven't met a single person that had a valid reason for that. And if you want a mirror edge because you want a mirror edge, I understand that. But I, I have not met a cutting task that required a mirror edge. <laughs> so Nick here with GearNut. Hopefully this helped you guys out. If you guys have any questions or comments, hit me up in the comment section below. This is the last day that I'm going to own this Wicked Edge Go. It's going bye-bye, guys. And I've had offers for people to buy it from me, and I'm not selling it. I'm actually going to be giving this whole little setup away to an individual a little bit later today that would use it more than me. So I have a Pro Pack 2, a Wicked Edge Pro Pack 2 setup, and I use that. And I'm, I'm not going to be using the Wicked Edge Go. It's just more enjoyable to use that Pro Pack 2. So I figured why not pay it forward to somebody that could use this system more than I could. It's not a bad system. It's a, actually a really, it's a great knife sharpening system. But in my opinion, the Wicked Edge 120 is better. So um, the gentleman that's going to get this does a lot of traveling. So I know the compactness of this is going to make his life easier. And he lives in an apartment where he doesn't have a whole bunch of space. He's got some space, but he doesn't have a whole bunch of space. So this is probably the best Wicked Edge for him. So... I'm going to be giving this to him a little bit later today. Hopefully he enjoys it. Should be pretty cool. And maybe he can, you know, give us some updates on it and what he thinks about it. But from me and my experience, I say that this is a great knife sharpening system for portability and budget. But if I had to go back and just buy one Wicked Edge knife sharpener, I probably would just buy the Wicked Edge 120 or the Wicked Edge 130. I think that those are the two knife sharpeners that make my sharpening needs or meet my re requirement for sharpening needs so nick here with GearNut. hopefully you enjoyed the video if you do give me a thumbs up you can subscribe if you want to i don't force people to they just do it because they want to so that's what i got i will check you guys later